Well guys, welcome back to Dream PS Use. So in case you have a GTX 1080 Ti and you want to make it go faster and maybe even reduce the temperature, reduce the noise and reduce the coil whine for those of you that have it with the new afterburner function of the curve editor which is made for uh, 2000 RTX series and upwards it is actually possible to do a different overclock slash undervolt on your GTX 1080 Ti even though it's a 1000 series GTX card so today's video we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do it with a few presets as well but promise me one thing if the video ends up being helpful you will drop a like and subscribe to support the channel okay by the way I'm using a GTX 1080 Ti Poseidon which is the best out there and in this custom one piece build which we have on the channel but it will work for every GTX 1080 Ti out there let's go okay here we are now for this tutorial you're gonna need heaven benchmark running in the background is this benchmark you see here you need to start it in non full screened mode and then you will need the latest version of MSI Afterburner directly from MSI's website I will leave both of them linked down below now once you're here you want to go into the settings and enable voltage control voltage monitoring and hit apply it will prompt you for a reset say yes and then here we are now here's how you do it okay so you want to click on curve editor and this is the magic tool which is going to help us achieving our goal i'm going to give you various different presets the first one is going to be like the most balanced one which is going to work for most cards so in case you want to just copy one i recommend you copy the first one so you want to go into the core clock and hit minus 250 to just temporarily lower the curve and now you want to grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and bring it all the way up to 1900 as to lower the curve back up and hit apply right there so this is going to be the first preset and it's going to be like a nice balance between performance and uh, basically i want to say efficiency slash noise slash power consumption this is going to drop roughly 100 watt from your power consumption now after you've done this you also want to max out these and now your undervolt is actually finished but you can also just slightly overclock your memory 300 megahertz usually is going to be plenty and now you're going to be getting better performance especially on the 0.1% and 1% lows so it's going to be much better but first of all this might not work on your GPU because every GPU is slightly different so if you are encountering instabilities what you want to do is go at 1800 megahertz with 900 millivolt if it's unstable so I'm going to show you how to do it so you go minus 250 still you still grab the 900 millivolt right there but you bring it up to 1800 this time and hit apply so this is going to work for every GTX 1080 Ti out there but it's going to give you a little bit less performance than 1900 now in case you want to really max out your performance you can push the clock higher so for example at 900 millivolt you might be able uh, to do 1950 or even 2000 if you're very lucky but for 2000 you're usually going to be needing a bit more voltage now the maximum voltage i recommend for you guys unless you have a gpu like mine which is underwater is 950 millivolt if you are underwater you can go all the way up to 975 higher than that you're going to be really losing the advantages so now let me show you a more performance oriented one it would be minus 250 and then i grab the 950 and I try to hit 2000 so I have actually not tried this but let's try it live as you can see it's working we are now at 2000 but now it crashed so I want to show you a crash if it crashes you just hit here don't panic because nothing wrong is going to happen so you reset everything and then you restart your benchmark what this means is for 2000 which is really like 2 gigahertz on a 1080 Ti is a lot it's going to be going very fast you're going to need probably 975 which is the absolute maximum I can recommend so now let's see if it's stable with 975 2000 megahertz flat if it is a bit higher like 2003 something like that is still good so hit apply and now let's see if we crash out also as you can see now we are not reaching uh, the full megahertz because you also want to unlock the power limit and temperature limit now you want to unlock these even though the gpu is not going to go at 120 percent all the time just to avoid stutters because a stutter in game occurs when the gpu basically is down clock forcibly if it makes sense at 935 we are stable so we're going to just give it plus 300 right there and then you want to be obviously testing this in games because after setting an undervolt you want to validate that it's stable 
by testing it in games, okay? So one last preset, which is for absolute efficiency. So if you're trying to run your GPU in a mini ITX case or in a very small PC and you need to save power or save on temperatures, what you might wanna do is do minus 250 and then grab the 800 millivolt voltage point. And this one, it's gonna be uh, right at around 1750. It's gonna work for most cars. And this is gonna dramatically lower the temperature as you can see in real time. So this is the efficiency spot and you can also avoid doing the memory clock offset here and also the power limit and temp limit. Unlock them, but they're really useless at this voltage point, to be honest. So this is it, this is how you do it. And uh, it's better than overclocking, honestly, in nowadays. So if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub and consider checking out more of my videos. I have many builds and tutorial on the channel. Also, I do undervolting for your CPU as well. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.